welcome to the shortwave radio channel and this is the first video in the battle of the loops so what are we doing here okay first of all don't you know comment saying well there's no switch box blah 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 there's no switch box okay i don't care there's no switch box that's it i don't have one and i'll be switching the antennas manually uh un you know unscrewing the connector from one plugging the other one in it's still a valid test it's just as you're going to be a little, you know, few seconds delay between testing both antennas. So here we are testing the W6LVP uh, expensive loop and comparing it to the MLA30 cheap loop. These are both the same types of loop. They are amplified magnetic loop antennas. One is 40-ish dollar, the mega loop, the MLA30. The other one is close to 500 the W6 LVP loop. I am testing it first with the CHU time signal. Both are oriented in the same direction and I will of course switch the antennas. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to play and you guys are going to listen in and I'm not going to give any comments. I'm not going to say anything except when I switch antennas I will tell you and that's it. You'll know when each loop is active while listening to CHU time signal from Ottawa, Canada. So 3330 kilohertz, first test battle of the loops, and the first antenna now is the MLA30 Chinese loop. So this is the MLA30 mega loop from China. Canada, temps universel coordonné, 21 heures, 3 minutes, 21 hours, 3 minutes. And now I will switch. W6 LVP loop. W6 LVP loop. Canada. Coordinated universal time. 21 hours. 4 minutes. 21 4 minutes. And now we're going back to the Chinese MLA-30. And now we're going back to the W6 LVP loop.
CHU Canada. Coordinated Universal Time. 21 hours. 6 minutes. 21 hours. 6 minutes. So here you go, guys. I've uh, switched the antennas from uh, the MLA-30 to the W6LVP back to the MLA-30 and ended with the W6LVP. Of course, in there, there's some propagation disturbances, some fades. Um, a lot of it, you know, there's part of it that can be, of course, um, really um, because of the loops themselves, but rather uh, radio propagation of signals. But still, uh, we are comparing two loops, one that is 10 times the price of the other. So what's your opinion? Did you uh, kind of see any differences? Are there, is there something that I missed? Um, I won't give my opinion, like I said, on any of these videos. I will give a general opinion at the end. And of course, I will read all of your comments. So uh, what did you think? Is one loop better than the other? If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching our videos.